What is up guys? So we're back with another video. Today we are going to do a pull day in the garage at home. I'm going to pretty much keep it to that uh, just for the fact that we want to get more videos out. Just going to produce little smaller bits of content. Last video might have been a bit long, but we're going to get a pre-workout in right now. So we have a ghost shaker bottle. Always, you always, always, this is, this is my signature pre-workout mixing skills by the way. Always, uh, Put in ice, always mix it in with seltzer. Always put seltzer water in your pre workout, guys. It just it just hits better. This one's cranberry lime. I've never used it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, shout out to main gear. Um, then we mix it in with creatine, so bulk supplements creatine. And then we have some total war, which we're running out. Um, gonna restock up soon but let's get it in there put a scoop <coughs> oh, shit promise I don't have corona it's just the <coughs> oh my god just the powder coming in my mouth and nose that sounded wrong and we have some creatine a scoop of creatine Nice little hefty scoop of creatine. Probably about five grams. Uh, then some of the seltzer. And I'll fill it up to like eight, eight. There you go, that's good enough. Something in there. The top on. Shake it up. I know what you're thinking, it's not smart to shake a uh, seltzer water on the right, because look, ready? Oh, never mind. Usually it pops on it. Um, that's that. I'm going to sip on this. Uh, by the way, you probably saw, I've been taking that, or I had been taking that, Cluster Bomb by Redcon1. It's carbs, intro workout carbs. So when I was at the gym, I was taking that intro workout because my carbs were so high. Uh, my carbs have lowered a bit just for the reasons that I do want to kind of maintain and not push the boundary. Don't know how many calories I'm really burning and stuff like that. Um, I haven't got used to the routine, um, but as I see my body fluctuate, also don't want to waste the product, but um, once I get back to the gym, I'll go taking that again. Uh, so I'm going to sip on this pre-workout now. I highly recommend that, by the way. Sip on the pre-workout when you get to the workout, all right? Alexa, play music. All right, so we're in the garage now. We're hyped up. Same situation in terms of warm up. We're gonna go through the same uh, movements. Just kind of getting the shoulder rotator cuffs and all that um, warm. And then we're gonna do some rows with a 20 pound dumbbells, just slight single arm rows to start getting blood in there. Uh, gonna jump rope and everything of that nature. Uh, so today, unfortunately with back, I am pretty limited in terms of stuff like lat pull downs and all that kind of stuff. So I predominantly, for the most part, will be doing full on rows uh, the rake again and the the barbell let's say uh, and then I'll do singled arm rows with the buckets themselves so I'll just do like like shit ton of sets probably like 10 to 12 sets within those two workouts just to make sure I get my money's worth let's say uh, and then I'll do rear delt flies with the dumbbells and then some bicep work with the dumbbells as well and then I'll finish up with some pull-ups but that I usually do in my room because I have like this bar that I usually hang my clothing on I might show you guys it's gonna probably look a little bit funny but maybe I won't, but then I'll finish up with some pull-ups uh, because I don't have a pull-up bar in here, unfortunately, which maybe I'll soon enough get one or get one for my door. I'm kind of afraid because I have a tendency of breaking a lot of shit all the time. So I'm probably keep this as a raw edit, uh, speak to you guys through the workout. Um, so yeah, got my Converse's on for flat bottom for, for rows. And don't mind the long socks. I double socked them trying to stay warm, so my outfit might look a bit goofy, but hey, Nobody's here, don't really care, you know. I really do miss wearing my gym uh, gym clothes, and going to the gym, you know. Cause obviously dressing up, kind of feel nice about it. But, let's get this started. All right, so we got done with the jump rope. Um, kind of just like flip my arms around, get the blood flowing. I use the resistance band to open up a bit. Now we're gonna warm up with some uh, one-arm dumbbell rows. So I only have 20 pounds, that's my max weight. A set of 20 and a set of 15s, um, but this will do all right. 
um, just to start building that muscle mind connection because again that is massively important um, at this point of time because that's how we're gonna incur like say the most work on the muscle and the most intensity so the thing is my tip when you guys are doing these one arm dumbbell rows or whatever one arm rows in general because I'm gonna later do it with the bucket um, use your arm as a hook all right so you're gonna lean forward kind of thing go up and when you pull instead of pulling straight up kind of pull it towards your hip pull the dumbbell towards your hip and that will help engage the lat come across your body pull and help engage your lat you feel it all up in your lat um, again don't go straight into it like this flailing your elbow out try to keep your elbow tucked straight down and then pull to your hip pull to your hip and when you release you can kind of go back down into that resting position in the middle but you always want to pull hip and engage so probably do like 20 20 on each arm just to get the blood flowing probably do that three times and then I'm gonna get into the barbell kind of row and that's the full-on row sometimes I don't know if you can see I even put my thumb over here rather than wrapping around I put my thumb over here just to act like a hook and I can make sure I'm using it properly as a hook. Right, I just want to clarify something real quick as well. When I'm talking about sets, like I just said, I'm probably going to do 12 sets um, between the two workouts. Those are working sets, so I don't count the warm-ups on um, the build-up to the, to the, let's say, max weight or the working weight that I'm going to use. So it could be even like 15 to 16 sets, depending on how long it takes me to get warm and feel comfortable to lift at the proper, let's say, working weight. Um, so six working sets i know that seems like a lot but again if i only have two decent workouts to build my back then essentially that's what i'm going to do um and yeah so i'm going to get into the barbell rows or aka the rake and two buckets um so i have a platform over here just to keep myself elevated in order to get the buckets off the ground um, but this was for when I was squatting kind of thing so I advise you to bring these closer to each other um, make sure the surface is flat so you're not wobbling but normally on a barbell row you kind of want your feet to be tighter um, in order to make sure everything's engaged and locked in to your back so I'm just gonna put these together and essentially it's probably not the safest thing again, but hey, it does what it does. It's pretty sturdy. Got my legs here set for a row. So we're kind of going to warm up with the bar first and go through the movement. So you're going to plant your feet here. You want to make sure everything's engaged. So you want to make sure your abs are tight. You want to make sure your glutes and your, 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 your hammies are locked in just so you can put all your focus on your back and your lats. Um, so essentially, I'm just going to row. I do overhand grip. And we're going to try to stay as horizontal as we can. Um, just so we can make sure again that we're pulling from our back and nowhere else But you'll see as I add weight, I'll probably have a tendency to kind of come up a bit Which is fine as long as I'm gauging the lats Alright, so this is my first set, warm-up set um, It's not going to be the max weight I'm doing, but it's a bit heavier than what we just did Now we're back to it Alright, so that was a bit easier than I thought. I only did nine. I thought max would be ten, but being that I did nine relatively easy, I'm just gonna skip it, not waste my energy, put in more weight, and go after that, see how it feels. So I'm gonna put in the 15s first, then after, if it's still light, I'll put the 20s, but for now, let's put the 15s. But that's not sturdy at all, but whatever. Uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. So what I just said right there is actually massively important, and I think that is actually why. Well, there's two reasons why I feel like, really quick, there's two reasons why I feel like I made so much gains in the last couple of months. Um, one is that I've definitely doubled down in terms of working out in general. Um, I'm really pushing myself, paying attention to the smallest little things, my rest, my recovery, um, how I work out and stuff like that. Um, progressive overloading, tracking, all that kind of stuff in that sense, doubling down. And then two, um, in the sense I'm not going through the motions, like, uh, Working sets are working sets for a reason. Um, so I'm not wasting my energy. I'm not wasting my time on those sets. Oh, time, yes, to build up in some ways. However, if I can easily get those 10 reps, or I'm saying I'm gonna get those 10 reps and I get to eight relatively easy, then I'm just gonna 
drop the weight, fill it up, put some more weight on there, and make sure that I'm struggling to get those eight to 10 reps and really pushing myself and really grind out those last couple reps. Because you want to get to those eight reps at like a, a work rate of like nine out of 10, let's say, kind of thing, um, uh, difficulty wise. So uh, I think that has have massively improved my physique in general, um, made me a lot stronger. Um, and again, those working sets, so I do about three to four working sets for all my big lifts when I'm at the gym, uh, and then making sure that I'm actually pushing within those working sets uh, and reaching the, let's say, max weight capacity that I can do for those rep ranges. So I think those are the two tips that are massively important if you're looking to make some like super gains. I know it sounds annoying and, it, and it, it's a lot, and it is a lot, I won't lie, but again, if you, if you want something, you gotta make those sacrifices. I personally love it and it is what it is. Um, I definitely come out of training like exhausted. Half the time I need a nap, like my mind's just in bits, my body's in bits. Um, and I'm just exhausted, but it's well worth it. And I think it's made a tremendous difference in, in me at least. Um, and then two, just knowing that you put everything on the table, it's a lot more satisfying. So as you can see, those were 10. And then at the end right there, my form kind of started to break. Um, that's what I'm talking about. You want to get to that point. You want to struggle a bit. Uh, so I'm going to keep it at this for one more round. And then after I'm going to swap the 15s for a 20 pound dumbbell. I'm just at five pounds, so 10 pounds in general, uh, to get to the eight mark. I know you probably look or think I look like a tool flexing in the garage. Um, I do it at the gym too. And I know I'll probably get some looks about it. I do want to bodybuild in terms of like I do want to compete one day, um, kind of thing. I don't know if I want to make it a career, but in general, in general, I know this is probably like the most douchebag tip. Um, but flexing and engaging that muscle after your set and the blood's in there will help with your muscle mind connection so much. Um, again, these are the little things, little tweaks you can make um, that will help with your gains because two, the more you learn how to control that muscle, to flex that muscle, the more you're able to tense it and activate it while you're working out. Therefore, again, in turn, leading to more gains because you can do more work and you know, you're not really activating other muscle groups that shouldn't be in the equation. Um, so it's putting more emphasis on that muscle. Uh, so again, there's another little tip that you can do while you're farting around. So um, I added the 20 pounds, so we're gonna do the first working set. Or is it the second one already? Actually, I did it the other one off camera. Um, eight reps, working set. Um, we're gonna do three of these. Alright, so now, now we're going to get into uh, one arm throws with the bucket. So we did six sets of those barbell rows, um, six sets with like two or three warm ups. Uh, now we're going to get into these one arm rows, do another six set each arm, and then we're going to superset it with rear delt flies. And where I'm going to show you, so this is what I'm working with. I get the two blocks. Sorry. I get the two blocks and I set it up in a position where I can have one foot in front and one foot in behind. Therefore, I can make a little space for me to actually roll this to my hip like I explained earlier. Um, and then I'll just move that one up when I switch arms, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I kind of rest my head against that just to help me um, stay stable and row. This looks kind of odd, I know, but it is what it is. Gotta work with what I gotta work with. I do feel them though when I, use, when I do do them. So when, I, <laughs> when I do do them. When I do them. Um, so. It is what it is, guys. Just trying to grow, just trying to, trying to get better every day. So let's do it.
So those are the dumbbell rows, let's say. Those are the dumbbell rows, or bucket single armed rows. Um, again, contract as quick as you can. Um, squeeze, and then gradually let it go down slowly. On the uh, on the negative, make sure you you actually work the muscle. Um, now these I'm starting with 15s, but I'll probably go up to the 20s. Uh, and essentially these are the rear delt flies. So I get dumbbells. You get weighted plates. You get oil fluid. That's what I used before. I use the dumbbells. Um, and just ready. I just kind of use this wall or garage door to plant myself, just to make sure I'm not swinging um, too much. I lean against it. And you're basically just gonna fly, do flies. And here, you kind of want to get that, see, keep the shape that I, you see how my elbows are kind of like a little bit angled, um, retracted, and I'm kind of flying like this, hugging in a way. That'll help you activate your rear delts a lot more. Um, and yeah. Alright guys, so we're pretty much done in the garage. I have this weight vest and these dumbbells. Um, so I'm going to go to my room to do some pull-ups. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do these uh, pull-ups with this weight vest on. I don't know how much it weighs. But generally, I do pull-ups on my own, like, without weight. So, my back is really messed up, so I don't know how that will work out. But, uh, I'm going to finish up in my room so I don't have a pull-up bar here. Alright guys, so we're back in my room. I'm already warm. I already did a couple of pull-ups already. Uh, so it's extremely hot obviously because the house is warm, so whatever, don't mind me. Um, but, you guys are going to make fun of me. But, this is where is my closet. And I've had this bar here ever since I was a kid. And that is actually where I first started working out. Um, literally when I was like 13, 14, 12, um, playing soccer. Um, I would literally do sit-ups and push-ups in my room. And I'll come here and do pull-ups. So I'd probably do like two because I was a really skinny kid. Um, and then I also went through a phase where I was really heavy, but yeah, uh, it's funny that it's still here and it still can support, you know, obviously there is some wear and tear on the edges. I haven't felt yet and out of necessity, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so don't, you know, you could, I, I'll put this up just, just for the lulls and just for people to laugh, but we're gonna get our pull-ups in. So we got a solid set of eight in. Um, probably gonna do five sets of those. Uh, five, eight reps, sorry. Five sets of those. Uh, and then I'm super setting with bicep curls with the 20 pounds uh, dumbbells, which you wanna take very slowly and controlled. Um, I'll show you guys that. Uh, and then if you really, really, really want the extra, let's say work, do some abs in between, you know, which I am just because today was an extremely lazy day. Um, I could use the work, you know, why not? I know I look like an extreme tool in my room, my shirt off doing bicep curls, but it's for the sake of working out. All right, guys, don't judge me. But again, I'll make this quick. We're gonna go there, get up. Make sure you're squeezing at the top. Make sure you squeeze at the top, squeeze all the way through, and come down slowly while engaging. And up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Up. 